What's poppin' guys, a bit of vlogs. This is part two of the fish projects. Um, just a bit of a heads up. I will not be posting anything, or actually will be home from Wednesday to Friday because I'm be on a camping trip with my new fellow classmates and teachers. That's how they start off the new school year, which is pretty cool. So I will not have my phone or any access to the internet at all. So for that reason, reason being, if you see me wearing this white red shirt, I said white, red shirt in the third video and you've seen me wear it in the first video, it's because I'm making these videos on the exact same day and editing them on the exact same day. The first video was actually filmed Saturday, but still, um, I'm editing it, editing it on Sunday. Um, and it's going out Sunday. Um, but I, the, the, the first video or the first little clip that I have, it's a bit jumpy, so I'm just giving you guys a bit of a heads up. It's when I was, um taking out uh, my fur the three mollies that I had. I put them in and then I moved on to the other molly. So that's where this clip follows through in and I'll show you that now. Okay, so I have the mom. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to be very gentle with her since she is pregnant and moving her. I don't wanna stress her out any, any way. Shape or form. Um, all right. I like that this, uh, well, now it's not going to do it, but this has a flashlight on it, which is kind of cool. Um, <laughs> no, I'm talking about me. About knives, it seems like. All right. There we go. Do this. Let's see if I can tilt the camera down just a bit more. There we go. I'm going to grab this side. Slowly. Roll the bag. There you go, mommy. You're good. You're good. There you go. So now she'll just sit in here. Um, one, it's a bit easier, I think, as a fish to just not be cooped up in, in a bag. At least now she's got a bit more room to swim and hide or swim in. Sister's here. She got back from all of her errands, which is awesome. So we were looking at the tank and jankly fitting or this the nursery hatchery thing is not working at all. So tell them the plan that you have. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the Molly Pam in here and then she'll have her babies. And then in my tank we'll put Guppy. One of the little Mollies. It's over here. Um, in my tank until Pam births her children and then once Pam births her children we're gonna put all the little children in my tank yeah so um, that's kind of the plan because we were looking at the design of the of the tank here and these holes are way bigger than the side holes here you mean smaller the, the, the these holes here oh e. yeah are way bigger than the side holes or side. So once all yeah, the babies panels. are birthed, they'll just stay in this section down here. Yeah. Um, so then they're not going to fall out so none of the other guppies or mollies, mollies <laughs> can right. eat them. Yeah. So that's good. Um, yeah, and I think just as a stressor, just to take one out, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I would have to look into it because I know mollies are sculling fish, but I, th I would think just as sensors. <laughs> Now there's this and three other mollies. I think taking one out just to, you know, calm the situation. There's a lot of fish in there once that yeah. happens and once all the babies are happening. Yeah, and to just jump start the other tank to already have another fish in there. Um, maybe we can, I don't know, because I was thinking, I wanted to put something else in the other tank. One, to jump start it to already get a biosystem working. Mm -hmm. We could do. Um, I'll put a plant in there or something. I don't have live plants, but. Yeah. Um, we could do, I don't know, we could, um, do a snail. I oh, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to do a snail? Um, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get a snail from that tank because it's more active. See the one sitting right up there? Yeah. Yeah, he's very active. Okay. So we could put him in there. Um, we could also put the lotion there. Actually, no, the lotion's way too... Don't take it out. No, 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 I'm just trying to turn the light on oh. so I can see better. Oh, it's, it's behind the wall there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um... So we could, I think we'll do that because of just, uh, I think taking or isolating one fish for no apparent reason is probably not the best idea since these are schooling fish. And I do have a boatload of snails just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that snail is the active, the most active snail. Um, 
I might put, I'll probably put food in the tank even though the snail won't eat it just to give something the snail to eat or like to <laughs> clean up. <laughs> yeah, clean up, absorb. Um, we're gonna think about the, the bristle nose that is actually very, being very cooperated, but uh, he needs to be in this tank because since now there's a boatload of mollies, he's gonna be here to clean everything up. The snail is being lazy. Um, <laughs> he is a lazy snail. So if you want to go get the, the if you want to go with Pam, um, and I think how we'll do this is just, we'll just, um, we'll take the lid off of, well, the tank and the nursery. Come on, Pam, you get a new second phone. Eh, because I drop everything. Temporary, temp, home. Here, just pour the water in. Just pour her and the water into the tank. Okay. Because it is a bit low and... You want me to hold the thing so it doesn't move? Wait. Yeah. She's gonna. I'll put the lid on. Overflow, cause like it's the same water level. Well, it's because you're. We'll just pull it up. See. Oh, okay. I'll just hold this. Let's go for a ride, and... Okay. Bloop. So now if you want to take the, uh, yeah, take the lid, yeah, that, and sit it on, it's like a snap on lid, you yeah. might have to, okay, got it, you got it, awesome. So now Pam will be sitting in there, and, uh, hold on, I gotta fix the cord, here, do you want to film? Yeah. Awesome. So, I gotta fix all these cords real fast, all over the place, all right. So, you can see that Pam is in here, she, that's weird to call her by a human name, but it's just how it is. Um, she'll be sitting in here giving birth, um, yeah. I know it's weird having a camera person because I'm not normally, um, film, or seeing myself. Hopefully these guys won't give her too much beef, uh, try to fight her or whatever. And I'm hoping the babies will be smart enough to stay underneath the, uh, the grate. Um, but yeah, so I think... That will be it for this little thing. It is very long. You know, I know all you guys are probably wondering when it's going to end. <laughs> very soon. Very soon, yes. So I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I guess I'll just do my outro here because why not? It's behind a fish. So leave a like if you like this video. Comment just if I'm doing anything wrong. And please do if there's any sort of suggestions for uh, the babies, the mom, anything like that. And subscribe when you're here. Bye! Okay, so don't quite leave me up because there's a bit of a bit more to the video than you guys might think. Um, so if you didn't see in the, I guess it'd be the first video and this video, um, when we were unbag when I was unbag yeah, so the first video when I was unbagging her, that she was pregnant. But if you look um, in closer to the video, and we, my, me and my sister did this, we saw that she didn't have that that belly as if. A pregnant fish would have. So, <laughs> we came to an assumption that the that Pam uh, <laughs> that Pam ate gave birth in the bag. Why none of us were looking? Gave birth in the bag. The f fry couldn't go anywhere. She ate the fry. The fryer gone. The stomach's gone. That's what we think. Um, <laughs> so, for that being said, that basically you know um concludes the part two of the video um part three you know there's no more mystery it's now how do i fix it basically um but that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of it so yeah uh, think about that for a second fish gave birth in the bag ate her fry and then when i come back in it looks like nothing happened a lot of stuff has happened in my fish room that I just can't explain. This would be one of them. <laughs> um, so this would actually be the end of the video. So yeah, so leave a like, like this video, comment just if I'm doing anything wrong, and subscribe when you're here. Actually, this is goodbye. Bye.